Hello and welcome to a new month. And welcome to another episode of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. By the way it's episode 114 of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. The least watched show on the internet. I don't have any data to back that up. But, I am sure it's the case that Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game is the least watched show on the internet. On today's episode I attempt to solve a Sudoku puzzle. Okay, I know you know that I am going to solve the Sudoku puzzle. It took me longer to solve this Sudoku puzzle than I had wanted. It just gave me more of a change to write. And since I enjoy writing that is a great thing. What am I going to talk about? I wish I knew more about botany, entomology, and microbiology so that I could talk about it. To me those are subjects I want to learn more about. I have read botany for dummies. I need to read it again because I don't think I remember much. I have also read The Nature of Plants. Botany is a fascinating subject. I like learning how plants work. It's hard to remember everything. But, remember everything is what I wish I could do. But, I am not confident about botany to talk about it. Maybe if I wrote about it I would be more confident to talk about it. I am not sure that I know that much about botany though. I never thought plants did so much until I read The Nature of Pants and Botany for Dummies. I thought plants just sat there and did not do much. It turns out plants are busy little bees. I will try writing about botany. Maybe it will jog my memory. Maybe I will talk about botany later but not this second. As for entomology after I read about heckling populations of birds it made me want to learn more about them before that I did not think much about birds. They were something to be squished when I found them inside. I started reading about bees and I was hooked. I never thought much about honeybees before I started reading books about them. I did not know how long they lived. I did not know how many species of bees there were. For all I knew there were only honeybees and bumblebees. I knew that honeybees lived in hives. I had no idea where bumblebees lived. I did not even know that there are different species of honeybees and bumblebees. And I had no clue about wild solitary bees. I might not have even known that there are wild honeybees. I am glad that I took the time to learn more about bees. Before I learned about bees I assumed science knew everything there was to know about bees. I was so wrong. I doubt I knew that there were different types of honeybee hives. I certainly did not know anything about bee diseases. I many have wanted to keep honeybees but... I had no idea how to go about learning about bees, or getting my own honeybees. I am sure before I started reading about bees that I know some things about bees but, not much. If I ever keep honeybees I would like to try Langstroth Hive, War Hive, and Top Bar Hive. I want to try them so I can see what works best for me, or what I like best. I knew that bees made honey and wax. But, I had never heard of propolis. I had no idea that a honeybee hive had keens, workers, and drones. It took me a while to remember that. I don't know much about other insects. But, learning about bees is a start. I certainly never knew that bees were so amazing. I never thought about plants that bees liked. I never thought that some bees could be so colorful. I still don't know the scientific names over a lot of bees. I know that honeybees are from the genus Apis, bumblebees are from the genus Bombus. I know that honeybees species name is Millifera. That is about it. I don't know how to identify any bees by species. 
It can be tricky to identify species by species sometimes. I know that much. I would rather learn about bees than cars. Without bees there would not be as much food. I think bees are important. More important to me than learning about cars. As for microbes I have read a small book about them. But, I can't remember much about them. There is so much I need to learn about botany, entomology, and microbiology. I may not learn all I want to learn but, I will try to learn as much as I can. At least I know what I want to learn. I think that is a lot of the battle for me. I want to learn everything I can about everything. I have trouble focusing on what I want to learn. So the fact that I know I want to learn more about botany, entomology, and microbiology. Biology is not one of my strongest subjects. It just got me thinking that I don't know many plants by their genus or species names. And I certainly don't know any microbes by their genus or species names. I can learn those things. I don't have much interest in taking photographs. I would rather draw things. But, I do have interest in taking pictures of plants, taking pictures of bees, and taking pictures of microbes. And I have an interest in botanical drawing, drawing insects, and drawing microbes. Drawing is so fun. What else can I say about botany, entomology, and microbiology? I wish I could say a whole lot more. I hope to learn more about those subjects in the coming years. I can't wait to learn. What else can I talk about? Pharaoh, it would not be an episode of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a video game if I did not talk about Pharaoh. I don't say that much about Pharaoh in every episode, but I am going to talk about it. I remember now that I must inherit my test classes from Test Case. It took me a while to remember that. I also had trouble wondering where I should put my tests. Then after reading about tests in Learn Object Oriented Programming and TDD with Faro I finally got it. I can put tests in the packages I make. It seems obvious now. Where else would I put my tests? Because if I put them somewhere else how could anyone use them? If I uploaded my code to small 